Hey, there I am. Hello. Hi. Gosh, it's been a while. How's everyone doing today? Thanks for being here. Start of 2024. It's essentially day four since the office got back to work. You figured everyone basically got back to the office on Tuesday, Monday being New Year's Day. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today's Friday. So we're really, uh, you know, about what, not quite midway through the day. We tend to go into the early evening. Uh, so, you know, things are just kind of getting cooking along, but we have a lot that we're actually in the process of doing. I have seen uh, the current state of the next letter to the players is going to outline our 2024 plans. And I can't really talk much more about it, but if everything goes well, we should be able to get that to you really pretty soon here. Um, I would say weeks. We are going to have to send it off for approvals and get some assets ready and things like that. So it's not, not quite ready to get published yet, but it's in the process and I've seen it. It's a good outline of the year ahead and uh, it's written by Orion and that should be ready fairly soon. Uh, both games, frankly, are in the middle of, of, I guess, what you might term producer's letter frenzy, where we're getting our plans put together and seeing the documents and getting that out and ready to you. Uh, we also are getting ready for our first bull roar of the year. That'll be update 39. That's going to have the instances and I think eventually at least the raid as well. I'm uh, not quite sure on the timing of when all that's coming out, but it is going to be going to bull roar potentially, potentially next week, maybe the week after that. I guess we'll see how things develop in the next 24 to 48 hours or so, but that's happening in the near future. And next week we have update 38.2 which is going to be uh, really a catch-all of various things that I will have more information about in just a little bit. Uh, yep, I had a great holiday break. Thank you for asking. Hope you did as well. And uh, I'm back to work, and we've got big plans for 2024. We really do. So uh, we, we're hitting the ground running, as it were, with a flurry of conversations and documents and work things happening, all sorts of stuff. Uh, let me quick mention, while I bring up, gosh, I hope this works, the release notes. Now, as you can see from the fact that they're still in a Word document format, these are still very much a work in progress. So anything I happen to say today that doesn't actually happen, totally not my fault. You've been warned. This could change. But... We were set to bring Ill Omens back on January 11th. Hey, that's next week. And we're adding some rewards to it, which I'll have, I'll show you actually here in just a little bit. New cosmetic pets added to Netta Pinleaf, an Ill Omened Jackal, Snake and Crab. Also, now that we're level cap 150, we got the rewards for the wrapper Ill Omens Skirmish wrapper adjusted. It'll still award Virtue XP and a Legendary Tracery token, but it's also going to get you an Ill Omens Treasury Package. If you're level 20 to 148, it'll get you a bunch of crafting materials, including two Universal Solvents. But if you are level 149 or 150, this package will award two Lux Stones for Umbar Crafting, two Solvents, Seafarer's Primary Essence, and a Cloak of Conflict, which I will show you shortly. This presents an advanced opportunity to acquire these cloaks, as they will also be available via alternate means in a future update. Level 150 cloak essences that can be placed in these cloaks will be introduced in an update following the conclusion of the Ill Omens event. Uh, we're also lowering it so you only need 10 rather than 12 for the thing. Uh, and then also, the Deed Skirmish Assault Ill Omens Tier 3 will count towards completion of Doom of Karas Gelebrun Tier 3 as one of its objectives. So, if you have Skirmish Assault Ill Omens Tier 3 underway and have already completed Ill Omens Doom of Karas Gelebrun Tier 3, that objective will automatically advance when Update 38.2 is released and you log into the game world, theoretically, next Wednesday. Uh, we do have some bug fixes in as well. We're correcting the amount of legendary item reward track XP and before the shadow missions. Um, 
we've swapped some appearances of roving threats quartermasters a lot of smaller things that i guess you'll see and can read about next week um it's really just like i say a catch-all of things that didn't make it into the patch right before we all went to break here in december and now we're back and now it's time to get this stuff out the door so comb forester event uh we are uh making a change there due to an unforeseen issue with providing craft XP rewards in a non-crafting quest, we have had to remove the XP reward from the Comb Forester event. Sorry. The event will also now fail for burglars using hiding in plain sight. Yes, we see you. There is now a longer duration timer for abandonment of the event at a serious business as a barring effect to use all of the destructible mount summoning items. Just trying to kind of lock that one down a little bit. Uh, for crafting, Umbari crafting, the upgrade recipe to enhance durable items uh, was set to the incorrect output of skilled items instead of enduring. It's now enduring. A Mistress of, Appen of Apprentices is being added to the Swain Crafting Guild. Uh, Umbar Crafting Guild daily quests are being modified as follows. Collecting the item is now the first objective of the quest, not the execution of the recipe to create the item. The daily cooldown on the recipe to create the crate of goods needed to turn into the Umbar Guild Masters is removed, and you can now craft the crate of items independently. We're really kind of fixing that one up to make it a better user flow. You can now get up to uh, next week when this comes out. Additional rank 30 allegiance rings. Updated the stats of the elegantly woven shoes of the eagle. Let's see what else. Fixing up some new music housing boxes that came out with update 38 to properly play. They needed special springs. Digital springs. And so we're adding that. Normalizing some food regenerates to give more consistent morale. Sorry, Umbari Feast, you were too much. These have been brought back down to levels closer to normal food effects. One for stats, one for regen. Uh, several crafted medium and light helms and gloves are having their names changed to better reflect what their appearance is. And, uh, yeah, you can now get Umbari crab legs to use in Umbari cook craft recipes from the cast mother and greater crabs in the Umbari missions, a taste for crab and an infestation of crabs. Uh, the challenge level of Delving Wrappers is being moved to 150. City of Umbar Baharabel, a little safer for players level 20 and up. Fixing up uh, some bits of the Stable Master collection that came to our attention here. I'm not gonna read that one in full. Like I say, a lot of this will is just kind of fixing things up, not worth reading out loud here, but it will be available in release note format early next week in English, French, and German. And I'm just putting this up here as an early state right now. Uh, just general fixing stuff. Okay, here's something worth mentioning. Um, the minimum level of Quest of Blackroot Veils being restored back to 90 instead of 140. Sorry about that. An Umbar Weekly Wrapper Quest is now available from the Umbar Quartermaster in the Bloody Eagle Tavern, Upper Ward, and Hunter's Expedition Camp. Rewards from the quest, including Embers of Enchantment and Virtue XP. An Umbari Tom for Embers Quest is now available, also from the Quartermasters. Virtue XP rewards are moved or have been removed from cap level 140 wrapper quests because we got these new ones. And the silver coins for Gundabad for Ember's quest has been converted to silver coins in Gundabad for moats. This is also coming with update 38.2. I believe all that should be as expected. The allegiances for Order of the Eagle and the Ledger Keepers now have a max rank 30. New rewards available at ranks 25 and 30. Uh, we did some work on the Race of Man, uh, which you could call Hat Hair. It's updated to better match the hair texture set. So the various hats that you might wear should now be a little bit better uh, working with your hair. Some brawler themed helmets with forced hair will now allow for any hairstyle available on the care gen. Previously chosen hair will be, will no longer be overridden when you equip a brawler headset helmet. We also did some other kind of polish work related to race of man hairstyles and brawler hairstyles and a little bit of localization work in there as well. 
So that is a look at what we've got cooking for next week. Let me go take a look at the chat quick, see if there's any questions I can answer. So there's going to be a lot of information out, both in the letter to the players that is coming hopefully soonish, weeks, several weeks maybe. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take to get out. Hopefully soon, uh, but it's not quite ready yet. Um, but there will be some information there, obviously, about the full outline, and then we'll have more information um, even beyond that as we get into Update 39 and get into the updated public event schedule. That's on the task um, to largely get done by end of the day today, and then probably early next week it'll get sent out to get put into the French and German versions of it. And then when all three are ready to get published, I would imagine that would be next week, we'll have the updated public event schedule as well. Uh, I don't believe we've worked on facial hairs for the race of man. Uh, just what was listed there in the notes, specifically related to helmets and hat hair in particular. At the moment, delving tokens are in your inventory. Um, putting them into the wallet system is something we would have to look at in the future. I have not heard of anything about that. So, about plans to do that. Yes, um, so there has been a plan to not just have a Comb Forester event, but have further events for other professions and uh, other crafters, crafting classes. But I think, you know, it was always intended that those would come out kind of once we debuted with this, see how things went. Uh, the Comb Forester event has had a little bit of a rocky start, and so some of the future planning for what we might do for other crafting class events, I think, is just going to have to get considered in due time. You know, we're just really now getting to the other side, I think, of the Comb Forester event and getting that in a position where it can start rotating in and out regularly. Hopefully some people enjoy it and uh, it, it can supplement your other crafting activities. And so the idea of doing future crafting events is still on the radar. I just don't know exactly what the timing, I don't know if the timing's ever been all that solid on it, but it's probably something that I have not heard of plans to do in the short term here. We'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. All right, uh, what other questions should I get to? Are we ever going to go back to Mordor and fully explore it, potentially? But I would expect other things to be on the radar before we would do something like that. Anything is potential. I'm not announcing any kind of future plan here. I'm just saying. I'm sure someday maybe. All right, so what do I got going on? I am on, uh, I am not on the live worlds and I've been spawning stuff. So I'm currently wearing, what am I currently wearing? I am currently wearing the Resilient Cloak of Conflict. Uh, quick note, sorry, I have to move this off screen here real quick so I can read it. So quick note on these cloaks, these are not new appearances, uh, the ones you'll be seeing here. Uh, these are the Cloaks of Conflict. They're using existing Update 38 quest gear appearances, but they are dyed purple by default. So they're essentially, um, you can get them elsewhere. They're not exclusive, but this is an easy way to get these looks if you're interested in taking a look at it. And the way you will take a look at it, let me make sure I'm on screen and you can see stuff. All right. This is the this is the ill omens treasury. So you'll open up the ill omens treasury and get a bunch of stuff. Um, you will get here your cloak of conflict selection box, min level one hundred and fifty, and then you'll have all your cloaks here that you can take a look at. The resilient cloak of conflict, fateful, mending, nimble, piercing. Stunning and durable. And uh, I'm wearing the resilient. Let's try the faithful. There's the faithful. And these are the cloaks that uh, were previously discussed. 
Well, wait, that's not all. I also get the uh, essences. Your essence box is just what I got just now. And uh, in this case, I've got some universal solvents as well. But th that's from the that's from the wrappers. So let's let me just show you these skills. This one should be the jackal. There we go. There. There. Where can I where can I get in a place where it's a little better? Get out in the open here. There we go. Hello, doggo. You're not a dog. You're a jackal. All right, let me look at chat quick. Hulti, what uh, exactly do you mean by the crafting rework completed? I think crafting is something that we'll be focusing on long into the future. Uh, Titan Metal, I will say that a 64-bit game client uh, is something that we are still actively working on, and it's something that I would hope to see more information about in the year ahead. Yes, we do have a roadmap on what is planned for 2024. We're currently working on that ourselves. It, I've, The drafts have been circulated internally this week, and we're in the process of getting it ready to publish to you. And so you'll have that roadmap too in the near future. But right now, uh, we are working on update 38.2 for next week. The Ill Omen skirmish events coming back. And we're getting ready to do our bull roarer previews of update 39. And then update 39 will be released not too long from now either. And that's going to have instances and a raid uh, for Corsairs of Umbar. The content as discussed really in um, and are updated in December. Can we get a kinship system revamp? Updating kinships, whether it would rise to the level of a full kinship system revamp or not, but doing some work related to kinships has been on our radar for a little while, and um, hopefully we can make some inroads into doing some of that work here in 2024. But we do have a pretty full schedule otherwise, so we'll have, I don't want to make any promises today. But it has been something that's been on our minds as well, and something that I would expect us to get to when time permits. Uh, tracking multiple resources and a fourth profession, I believe... Uh, Orion mentioned something about the multiple tracking on the forums today, saying that we have run into a bit of a technical snag, but it is something we still very much want to do. So I think both that and the fourth profession are TBD, but are still very much on our radar. And here is a snake. Hi, snake. Wow. You're a big boy. Hello, snakey. Huh, okay, that's cool. Any plans to update older systems like skirmishes, mounted, or epic battles? Well, with the ill omen skirmish event counts as a skirmish work. It's a system, and it's something that we are updating next week. So, to that extent, yes. Uh, redoing, say, all of the old skirmishes? No. Uh, I've not heard of any plans to do that. Uh, let's see. Your other questions are about mounted combat and epic battles. Both of those are things that are on a long list of things. Wouldn't it be nice to get to? Uh, perhaps at some point here we will in fact get to them. 
I think both of those are fairly substantive tasks and one we have chosen so far at least not to be able to fit into the schedule as it were but all right uh yes i do mean the new 64-bit launcher not the client correct epic battles are, are another thing i think I think there's a thought that if we were able to fit it in, it might be nice to allow for further optional methods by which to bypass a few things related to uh, epic battles and mounted combat. A little more than we already have implemented in the past. And I think longer term fixing them is something that we would like to do, but they're, they're big projects and we have other priorities at the moment that I think just simply have to be considered ahead of it. But never say never on that kind of thing. Uh, the effect on the crab is the ill omens effect. It's sort of got the ill omens effect. All right, well, that's that's basically what I got for you here today. I don't know that there's really more to mention on game. So let me quick switch cameras. Oh, I can put on the, I can grab a few more cloaks here. That's what I will do. Let me put on a few more cloaks before I'm done. Just so you can take a look at them. This is the mending. Here's the uh, nimble. This is the piercing. Stunning here. Which looks like it also has the same design. And then the durable. There we go. I could mention uh, quickly that the Ill Omen Skirmish event will run, let me make sure I've got my timing correct, yes, through January 31st, and it'll shut off at 3 a.m. Eastern on February 1st. And we've, again, lowered the wrapper count from 12 to 10 as well. And that'll go live next week. All right, let me quick uh, switch clients. And we will get going here. Uh, we are working our way through Corsairs of Umbar, the story series of quests. And so I'll be going in there in just a few minutes here, and we'll run some of that. But until then, let's take a look at uh, any further chat. Did you miss anything important? Probably not. Probably not. No. I'm going to say no. A little bit of kind of look ahead at the next couple of weeks. And uh, first look at the update 38.2. Gosh, I hope those end up being the release notes. Could always change a little bit. I would mention we do have a skirmish mark boost as well. Uh, that's our bonus days boost, and that runs through January 7th. And uh, let me get the game client going. Yeah, I, I'm sure the, the stats on it are relevant. And you could 
screen can grab it or you'll see it yourself within a couple of days here. Maybe someone can clip that. So yeah, uh, we got back to work this week and I had a pile of work to get to um, related to forums and uh, spam and uh, you know, the year's metrics and sitting down with folks and continuing important conversations about 2024 and all of that has taken place over the last couple of days we have a lot of cool things we'll be announcing talking about and doing in the next Let us couple go weeks to a month i don't know how long it's going to take to get the Pro the I guess you could call it producer's it letter out. See cheer restored to the palace of the swan. When last I was here, the mood was grim. Many of the prince's court and the greatest part of his swan knights went with Imrahil to Minas Tirith for the waging of the war, but his daughter Lothriel managed the rule of the city while he was away. And that doll Amrath still stands as a testament to her ability and tells me she has learned much from her father. I introduce to the court King Elisar and Queen Arwen and their loyal companions. I bid you welcome to Dol Amrath and the palace of the Swan. Uh, my daughter and her friends were just leaving. Is this a poor time? I hope we bring no interruption. Oh, none at all, my king. Dorthenek was a help to me when I ruled Dol Amroth while my father was away. She was a dear friend and remains so. I cherish her visits, but this one was just ending. I pray you will stay a little longer, leader of the Arborim. I had hoped to speak with you as well. I don't really want to interrupt the storytelling. My folk expect my return. I should not keep them waiting. The queen asks you to stay. Surely you can heed her wish? If you would come here, please. Just one moment. She pours the water contained within into a bowl, spilling not a drop. Will you set this down on the floor just there? Okay. I do not understand what this means, my queen. This is water from the river Gilrhein which flows out of the White Mountains. You know this water, Dorthene, for you drowsed long beside it and came to sorrow. What does she mean? This cruelty is unbecoming of you, Queen of Gondor. I seek not to be cruel, but there are two hearts to be mended here. Not just one. Will you not do your part, Neem Rodel? I have not answered to that name in many years. Maybe so, but there is one here who remembers it. This hall is so cold, but the queen wants me to speak, so I shall. Long ago, and for always, I dwelt within and beside the river Gilrain, and my music was the song of sunlight on the water and of wind and leaves. But it was a lovely song, for my sisters had gone away, and I did not think I would see them again. And an elf maid, 
Tarried by the river as she journeyed southward from a distant land, she was more beautiful and radiant than anyone I had ever seen. I sang to her, and she delighted. It was a happy dream, but it lasted too long, and when she at last awoke, many seasons had passed. The elf ship that waited in distant harbor for her to arrive could wait no longer. Sorry. I do not expect you to forgive me, Nimroda. But the queen wanted me to speak to you of my sorrow. I think that is not cruelty. I know what cruelty is, Maiden of the Gilderain. The world is cruel and has always been. Can you know my story and say it is not so? Amroth was a king among elves, but to me he was more. He was my love and the brightest star of the night sky. You must depart, he says to me, for the dwarves have awoken terrible evil, and if we stay it will endanger us too. I believed him and them still, for I know what befell in the centuries since. Amroth went ahead to make ready the ship. I traveled with a small company to join him, but the passage of the mountains was hard. When at last we descended to the lowlands, I danced in the woods and became separated. The river sound was beautiful, and I slept in peace for too long. By the time I awoke, a fell wind had come from the north and driven my love's ship from the shore never to return. I dwelt in sorrow from that day forth. I did not know. There is much sadness in the world, Maiden of the Gilrai. But there is beauty, too. I do forgive you, Roaming Star, for your part in what befell. But know that of blame, yours was never the greatest share. To the questions about bug reports, if you have submitted them as a bug report through help.standingstonegames.com, we will take a look at them. There was that quest bug in the waste that someone mentioned, and another one too. Alright, time to speak with King Elisa. That's what she was here for. She desired to ease Roaming Star's burden, and I believed we would need to visit the cave of the Avorum to make the attempt, but nope. I said Arwen's purpose on this journey was ended, but of course mine just begins. We must speak with Prince Emerhill about the continued presence of the Corsairs threatening Gondor's shores, and also about the rise of the Kindred of the Coin across the bay. But that's enough for now. These are truly days of wonder. Just a few days ago, the City Watch apprehended a man lurking outside the city. He was dressed as one of the cor Corsairs and made no apology for it, but when he named you as a friend, the Watch was forced to let him go. I might have commanded otherwise, but the guards had to make a decision and did. I've had him, them keep a wary eye on this man since, so we need to speak to a Beriadur by the steps southeast of the Palace of the Swain. We could also pick this up if we want to. While you are here in the city, I would ask of you some assistance with a rather delicate matter. So my those up too. To but I am mostly sticking to the book quest here, so.
yeah like an audio presentation of the quests with full vo that would be sweet uh that would be expensive but it would be cool that'd be a big project i think the they are trained voice actors of which i am not I've just missed the report from one of my guards concerning this map. Look for Tholian to the east and beyond the market stalls. Check in the courtyard to the north. Okay, derp. Maybe I should have gotten back on my elk. Thank you. You know, it's I it yesterday I went to oh, see a touring performance of the musical Beetlejuice. And it happened to be pretty close to where I live and and that was sweet. I went with my girlfriend and everything. And seeing the trained actors on stage, particularly the person playing Beetlejuice, really showed me uh, it was a good lesson in the kind of skill that that sort of public oration takes. It was really impressive. And uh, the person did a fantastic job. But it reminds me just uh, how much it, it like, it, no, it's a skill. <laughs> it's a trained skill you got to do, and uh, when I'm not sure, I can. Southeast of the city of Dunlom are the ruins of Os Ab. Yo, can you get some worms and rats and stuff? Okay, follow the sound of the unusual gull call down the street to the east. I'll be this way. These guards are fortunate. I chose to do no more than merely embarrass them. I could have slain them very easily if I wanted, but you're a friend, so they can live for today. To think you believed our paths would never cross again. It seems you have the pleasure of entering my story at least once more. Much has happened since I saw you last. Would you like to hear about it? For sure. My brother Daximit and I believed we were done with Gondor when we bid you farewell. I thought we'd return home to Umbar and then find a new ship and crew. We'd sail forth again in search of treasure. At least that was the idea, man. Now let me tell you what really happened. An idea for a new fighting class. Posting it on the forums. Yeah, sure, go for it. That sounds pretty cool. Just like any suggestion. We'd love to read it. We have our own plans, too, but. I would also mention the Forester crafting event is coming back on the 13th of January. So that's also end of next week. Uh, that'll be happening until the or through the 22nd of January, and it's going to be back on its rotation. And especially with a few bits that I know are in update 
38.2 that we just discussed, I think, fingers crossed, the Comb Forester event should be uh, pretty well ready to, to just run and, and have fun with here. It has been. I think the last time it came around, people generally got what they wanted out of it. But it still had a little bit of work that needed to be done. It's good to be home. But we have work to do. I mean, that's a lot of guards, not gonna lie. Maybe they were looking at these guns. Yeah, all right. Something in the city is different, Dax. Do you feel it too? There are too many guards here. The Hradrum of Ordok seem to be gone, but in their place the guards are more vigilant. Any big plans for the anniversary event? Uh, I would say that we have some pretty big plans for our anniversary this year. Uh, I don't I think the anniversary event is still going to be the anniversary event, though. But we do, in fact, have things that we're doing this year. Uh, we'll have more about information about the coming weeks. Dax, I haven't seen you in a little bit. I thought you were dead. Were you in the battle? I heard the Corsairs who followed Balakor were slain by the army of dead men. Kindred claim they have ushered in a new age, but for people like us and your brother, I don't know if they mean it. The gals are full of thieves and Corsairs alike. No opponent of the Kindred lives long enough after voicing it. If they learned you sailed with any air of Castamere. In other words, you might not want to just say and you know... Yes, the ETA on the instances should be within the update 39 cycle. The exact timing uh, of which, what is going to be released when, I'm not in a position to talk about today. But we are going to be starting to preview that stuff on Bullroar here within the coming weeks. This is Coltec, another one of the Kindred. The areas of Castamere could not have been defeated by only seven people, after all. Such things need... ...bodies. Yo, who's your friend? Uh, your totally not suspicious friend. Hi. My name is Not Sus Stampion. Uh, no, Daximat. Uh, Coltec nods idly, but behind his eyes, you sense he's paying very close attention to me. Some there are who lead, and some there are who follow. Even the kindred of the coins is subject to this rule, my new friend. Heed these words. The wisest of all is he who knows when to lead and when to follow, when to speak and listen. Which are you? And who do you follow? I 
don't know that I have seen the schedule enough, Martin, to know whether we're going to be doing festival encores this year or not. Um, ultimately, what I was able to get done for the next couple of weeks is what I know about for now. And then there are folks literally yesterday and today kind of filling out the remainder of the schedule and getting the files ready and everything sorted out. And it takes a little bit to look at all the weekends and get it all done. So I couldn't tell you specifically whether and when and what kind of encores we might have. Are you saying, I know in general people do like them when we do them. So I think to the extent that we can fit them in, sure. All right, we have to go before Coltec remembers you're here. So it might be time to go. Just saying. Dax, this place is no longer safe. We must leave. The kindred are not okay with us being here. I would prefer not to use the live stream as a way to further forum discussions. Uh, I'm glad if someone's put together a lengthy video about their concerns for the state of the game, I'm sure we'll, uh, you know, look at and read said feedback and give it, give it consideration. But I'm not going to get into a back and forth through the live stream on some kind of uh, someone's opinion about the state of the game. We appreciate any and all opinions that people have about our game. It was our, our work alone that allowed us to escape, but if good fortune permits, ill fortune was soon to follow. A sudden storm rose up and swamped the boat, and when we went to shore, it was back to Gondor we had been delivered. Dax was gone. I am certain my brother lives, for he has survived much worse, sturdy crab that he is. We tell Jajax, Prince Imrahil and King Elisar should be told of the situation they encountered, and the Corsair tilts his head, weighing your suggestion. It's good to be owed favors and coin by kings and princes, Stampy, and I accept. I have not been the guest of a royal court as such as this before. Not invited one anyway. All right. So now we are heading back to the palace, which is behind us. That's the library. What's it? So there must be something in. Oh, the Rohan reading is what that is. So now I actually want to gear, I believe, up this way. Yep. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, great point. Uh, this I was able to announce yesterday, actually, on social media. We have an opening on the Lord of the Rings online side for a QA position. You can find out more about it at daybreak.com slash careers. I have very little visibility when all is said and done in the nature of that position. You know, I'm not going to be seeing applications I and probably wouldn't be involved in the interview process, nor is anyone going to ask me uh, who they should hire. But ultimately, it's a pretty great opportunity for potentially you if you have QA experience particularly, but even if not, if you've got a keen eye for detail uh, for bugs in the Lord of the Rings online and can sort of deal with this work, uh, perhaps this might be the opportunity for you. Um, so. 
I know whenever we have any kind of QA position, but especially a position like this, which is not, say, a QA lead position, um, it's a little more accessible and approachable for folks. Um, you do need to live in a state that we can do business in, from my understanding, but that's really an HR question. You'll probably be working from home, but it needs to be within a place that we can hire people from. I said to keep an eye on him, not bring him to my court stampion. Why should I trust these things he says of Umbar or of the kindred of the coin? How do we know he's not one of them? Evil Listen, dude, I know. Evil tidings have come to Dol Amroth from the coastline of Anphalus. Tidings that harden my heart against such managers, Jajax, but you need not hear them for me. Speak to the captain, and he will tell you more. If you command me to speak, my prince, I will. But the pain is fresh. My ship, the Alfreval, was burned off the coast of Anfalus by Corsairs just days ago. Some of my crew survived and made the journey back to Dol Amroth overland with me, but too many died. I demand to know why you now host in this palace one of them who set my ship aflame. You could tell this weepy old sailor that I was not involved with the burning of his precious ship. I didn't burn a ship, but if he gets another, he would be wise to steer it far from me. He's doing, saying, yeah, well, you know I wasn't involved because they're all Silence. still alive. Silence, no fighting. no fighting. In the palace of the Swan. These tidings of Anphalos make it clear to me you should make a change in plan, in the plan we discussed. If the Corsairs remain active along the coast, it is too dangerous for you to continue that way. Instead, you should make preparations to go back to Minas Tirith. I will allocate a number of swan knights to attend you on your journey, if you so desire. I'm going to guess that's a big old nope for Mr. Elisar. I value your words, Prince Imrahil. Nope. Heed the, warning the suffering of Anfalas makes it a more necessary destination, not a lesser one. I will see the state of things in Outer Gondor with my own eyes, and I will aid the people there as best I can. I ain't telling you where I'm going. Goodbye. Yeah, it's it's like New England, uh, wherever we've got employment cross compacts with, which I think is like Rhode Island and New Hampshire and Connecticut and maybe Maine. I don't know. California, Texas, and there's a few others that I I don't know. That's it, HR can tell you that, but. Watch that one carefully if your paths cross again. And there are ways, like, I think there it's possible that we could do something under contract or something to an LLC and stuff as well, if the right person came along. I don't know how all that works, though. Any news on the producer's letter? Yes, the letter to the players is being worked on. And we've made quite a bit of progress this week in getting thoughts down on paper and future charts plotted if I cannot convince the king not to travel to Anfalas while it remains threatened I understand Prince Imrahil's concerns let this then be the compromise I will remain a few days in Dol Amroth preparing to travel to Enphalos, but some of my company will instead journey north to the Blackroot Vale. The people there lost much after the folk of the Vale had come to their or had some of their needs met. The smaller group will rejoin the larger traveling party outside of Anphalos. I'm going to the Blackroot Vale, and also Legolas Gimli and Kabar. So we are probably getting ready to wrap things up then for the show here a little bit. I would mention that I did update the stream schedule this week, and so we have a new graphic, and the, the schedule is up to date and everything. Uh, I've heard some interest 
I believe from Prime Lotro and streaming some of the instances when they're ready. So I would expect to see us maybe do that in the near future as well. So I'm going up all the up to the Black Root Vale. Where am I going? Okay. Okay, the bell. Okay. Yeah, it's a little ways. All right. Why don't I stop in this library here quick while we're at it, and then we'll, for next week, I'll be in the position to continue this rather than see me travel through at the end of the stream. Let's go get some books. I suppose my elk will have to wait outside. Uh, what is Prime Lodger? They, uh, they're a kinship that has tended to want to do some streaming on Lotro stream when new raids and such come out. And I'm happy to have like a raid specific group wanting to go on the stream, even if it's just for a little while and what have you. That's fine. So it's all good. sure where I'm going yet for this person. I think they're in the back. Okay. There we go. Good day to you. You wish to learn about the geography and history of Rohan. Nosernak is not here. There we are. Greetings. You come seeking books on Rohan's lords and ladies? So, anyway, uh, they had reached out to me to say, hey, uh, we'd be interested in doing some streaming of the new instances and the new raid when it's ready. Does that sound cool? And I was like, yep, sounds cool. So we'll probably get them back on here in the coming weeks. But we also do have our regular full rotation all rocking through the new year, and we've got a, a new schedule that's up to date on it. So uh, please do check out the other streams if you would like to. I've got one more book on Rohan to find. I'm going to say not that way. retracing my steps a bit. Maybe. Maybe. Yep, there we go.
Maybe they have a card catalog, but it's in its own language. I would imagine that that seems likely. Okay, so I'm going back to this person. It was really nice to see... Okay, where am I going? So back to... Oh, outside. Gotcha. Will we ever move to a new streaming platform because Twitch and all the drama it has? I think that ultimately the service we are on is simply dependent by where the audience is. I don't think we have any particular loyalty to any specific platform. And we do get really just as many, if not more, views of this show afterwards on YouTube and elsewhere as we get watching it live here on Fridays. And that's okay too. There's nothing at all wrong with that. So I think we're already kind of multi-platform in a way that I don't really feel too beholden to a specific ups and downs of, of that kind of thing. But if, if we had a really strong reason to not want to be in a particular platform, I don't think there's anything making us be any place really. We could, we could be somewhere else. Sure. We have, we have, we totally had a threads last year. That was so 2023. Who's using threads? Not many. Ah, it appears you managed to find me some books. All right, awesome. Well, we're going to wrap that up, uh, the show up here then. Right here. So thanks very much for watching Court of the Rings on Twitch, YouTube, or up on Facebook as well. I'll be back. Uh, actually, so now that I'm thinking about it, I will probably not be here next week, and then I will be here, and then I'll be gone again the following Friday. So this isn't part of some kind of pattern where I'm doing every other week or anything. It's just going to work out that way for the next couple of weeks. But uh, I'll maybe pop in anyway at some point and do a live stream here if if something's cool like if the producer's letter gets out we'll make sure we do a stream if at all possible for that so uh stay tuned i don't know that i'm going to be here next week if i'm not here next week i'll see you in two weeks if not uh talk to you again soon thanks for being here have fun